with just one win from the previous ten, Colchester boss A.D. Boothroyd must have feared that the playoff bus had left without him. Meanwhile, his Hartlepool counterpart Chris Turner is waiting to see if his side will be punished for fielding the ineligible Gary Little against Brighton on Easter Monday. And perhaps that sense of uncertainty spread to his players as the visitors jumped into an eighth-minute lead. Clive Platt squaring it for Ian Henderson to apply the final touch. After that, though, it was the same old story for Boothroyd's boys. Just three minutes later, the home side were feeling good as Leon McSweeney crossed for James Brown to head home his fourth goal of the campaign. But it's the goals of Sunderland Loney Roy O'Donovan which have had the most impact on Hartlepool's climb up the table, and he was at it again eight minutes later. That's seven in 12 appearances. And another O'Donovan goal was on its way five minutes from time. The busy McSweeney was tripped in the box and O'Donovan went top corner from the resultant spot kick. Back-to-back -back wins at Victoria Park this week should ensure League One football next season, although the possibility of a three-point deduction over the little incident could yet paint a very different picture.